Hello friends, welcome at Layman Expert. This is our next video in which we are going to install Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7 in a virtual machine. For this, you will need a software called VMware Workstation 12 Player. And you can download it from here. The link of this page is provided in the description. You can find it there. And one more thing is required that is a RHEL7 DVD ISO. You can find it on internet. Just google it and download this ISO. Now let's begin with installation. Open the software VMware 12 player and create a new virtual machine. We will select this option. I will install the operating system later. Next select Linux and please make sure you have selected Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7 and 64 bit. If Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7 64 bit option is not available, please make sure that you select Red Hat Enterprise Linux 6 64 bit. Okay, if you have this option, no problem, but if you don't, if you do not have this option, please select this one. Okay, now we will name our virtual machine. Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7 and uh, you can select a location where you want to put your virtual machine files. I will assign 20 GB of hard drive to my machine. Okay, now our virtual machine is ready. We will proceed to install Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7. For this, please click on Edit Virtual Machine Settings and select this option CD DVD and then click on use ISO MH file browse you will have to browse this file that you have downloaded RHEL DVD I have placed it on desktop and open ok now virtual machine is ready and we can start there are few basics about VMware player you you can see that our cursor is moving on the desktop that means this cursor is now currently operating host operating system host operating system is this windows operating system on which we are running all the softwares and the operating system which is RHEL7 that we are going to install is a guest operating system so when we will click on this screen our cursor will bind with this guest operating system and if we want to bring it back we'll have to press control and alt button together and now cursor is free from the virtual machine okay if we want to operate uh, virtual machine we will have to click on it you can see three options has been provided to us first is I install Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7 second is a test this media and install and third one is a troubleshooting we will use troubleshooting option in our later stages however for now we will select install Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7 press enter key and if you want to make your virtual machine full screen please press control alt and enter now select your language I will select English and English United States continue we have a checklist here now first date and time I live in India so I will select this format of date and time then software selection we will select server with GUI if you remember that in a first video I have explained that Linux is highly customizable then you can relate these options with that uh, video because uh, 
in this installation there are various versions we are being provided like a minimal installation infrastructure server file and print server basic web server virtualization host and server with GUI all these formats are available in this DVD but if you want to install server with GUI and then later stages you want to make it uh, infrastructure server all you just need to uninstall few packages and install few new packages and this version will convert in this this is a uh, customizability and for all of you who didn't watch our first video I will recommend them to watch this so they can understand it better now click on done now here comes the partitioning select I will configure partitioning and then select this disk click on done and you will be provided this window where you can create your own custom partition please select standard partition here and press this button at first we will mount our root partition with the space that I will give it to 10 gigabyte now we have a 10 gigabyte of available space next we will mount boot partition with 1 gigabyte the next partition we are going to use is home partition I will allocate it 6.5 GB next partition is swap swap is a virtual memory and we will allocate 1.5 gigabyte and we can see here that 1.47 gigabyte that is almost 1.5 GB is still free and uh, I'm not going to allocate it because in later stages uh, I will use this free space to demonstrate how to create uh, partition how to format partition from command line okay so this is being left on purpose click on done and accept changes now all the priorities in the checklist has been completed you can begin with installation here we have to create a root user password and and another user so create first root user password and uh, please remember this password because you will need this password again and again while practicing the Linux while learning the Linux now create another user now all we can do is wait accept the license agreement click on done and finish configuration
no I prefer to register at later time and finish now Red Hat has been installed successfully you can log in this is the GUI of the system you can explore what application and utility is provided and in the next video I will explain some basic commands to navigate between directories create new directory and the very basic commands afterwards I will explain the directory structure of Linux so you can use your commands efficiently or you can understand them better but in the next video I will explain command and afterwards I will explain the directory structure after studying the directory structure of the system you will understand your basic commands in much better way so thank you guys please subscribe our channels layman expert and you my hacker Please do like, share and comment on video. If you have any doubt, do ask in the comment section. And for uh, VMware player, please check the description below. Okay, thank you.